Blaney's rejoining there, they're all three wide, Neil's trying to get involved and Blaney hits them both off. Blaney comes back on the track, hits both cars. Bits the right on the back of Bradders into the hairpin on the inside. Bradders out breaks himself and they both patch, pa, pa, pass, pass, just hard to say. Stevie, and Stevie passes them all straight through. Oh, Callum's lost it! Callum's lost it! Oh, what a recovery! He uses the wall, but what a recovery there from Callum. Let's have a look at Steve now. Stevie holds his own around the outside. And no way, Jose, but then gets a slow run out of the corner. Bids us right off on the outside of him again. This is brilliant. LPB WTCR Championship, round eight, race three from the Zunhai International Circuit in China. Hi everyone and welcome back to LPB Racing for round 8, race 3 here at Zunhai International Circuit of the LPB WTCR Championship on Project Cars 2. So, for the grid for this one, let's take you through the grid on our drone camera. Let's go up onto the drone, here we go, let's turn it round. So it is Blakeney on pole position in the red car there, so Blakeney's on pole with Cy Racing alongside in the BMW. And we've got Bradders third in the Renault. Then we've got uh, Neil uh, in fourth in his Renault. Bidster in fifth behind his teammate Bradders. Then we've got Intrepid in sixth behind pa uh, and behind that Pash in seventh. Stevie is in eighth. We've got Twerdy in ninth. We've got Darren in tenth. Ty is back in eleventh. Fidel is in twelfth. Nifty Dark Ninja in thirteenth, and Bert is in fourteenth place. So 14 cars, brand new circuit to a lot of people here. We've not done this circuit many times in the past. So let's see how we get on then, and away we go. It looks like good start for the BMWs as we go down to the first corner, obviously with the rear wheel drive having the advantage down towards turn one. It's Cy racing in front as they break into turn one then. And there's Stevie on the inside who gets a little hit from Bradders and Neil and Bitter gets in the middle of everything as well. As you go through the corner, we've got oh, cars everywhere. And Fidel gets hit by, by someone in the middle as well. And Cy's gone from first to last in one corner, runs wide, loses all them positions. They all come howling down to turn three as we go into, because it's a little, it's a little king really, or turn two really. As into the corner, as Pash goes around the outside of everyone as they all cause the teeter up and there's an accident behind. Fidel's on his roof, Darren spun. Cy Racing goes through, Burt's off as well, so it's all happened. And I can guarantee you with the new circuit it was bound to happen. As we go into the hairpin, bids on the inside of Pash, on the inside, breaks late, gets alongside and goes through as Pash rejoins. Oh, gets a massive load of oversteer and hits a car off. There he is in the gravel, so he's knocked another car off. Well, again, we'll get a replay on that later on. But back to the front, it's Stevie in second place now, so it's Blakeney from Steve. Then it's Neil Farmack from Bidster, and it's T.Y. in 5th, Intrepid 6th. Twerdy is 7th, though he's not going to be for very long because Bradders is on the inside of him and takes 7th place. He tries to, but Twerdy goes around the outside of him. Keeps hold of the position for now. He's got the inside for the next uh, right-hander coming up. And Bradders swaps sides under the brakes. Oh, good move from Bradders if he can pull it off, but no. Twerdy holds on to his 7th place, Bradders down to 8th. There's Nifty back in 9th place with Fidel in 11th. He's just lost a place to Cy Racing, I think. So, and he's alongside Pash as well, who's recovering after the uh, first lap melee as we go uh, around the last corner there. There's, around the last corner we go, and it's Blake from Steve and Neil. Neil's closing up on Stevie here on the straight. So, down towards turn one, we've got a couple of cars side by side further back as well. But Neil Farmack attacking Stevie into the corner, can't quite do it. Can he get the cut back out of the corner? He tries to, but can't get alongside. It's our Twerdy and Intrepid. Our Twerdy goes through, bang, on Intrepid. Knocks him out of the way almost. And Bradders goes behind him as Twerdy, a bit of an aggressive move on Intrepid there. So uh, we'll have to see how that looks in the replays later on. But a uh, bit of contact there as Intrepid now holds off Bradders in eighth. Bradders on a bit of a charge here, so uh, not doing too bad here, Bradders. Seems to get on with this circuit all right. As Pash in 10th, he can't say the same. He's had a bit awful start to his uh, sort of Chinese race here as Nifty is in 9th place ahead of him. Meanwhile, the, oh, the, the front, it's all its all chaotic. It's all happened. Bids has gone through on the inside of Neil, I think. And he's... Well, and he's passed... Uh, Stevie as well, so it's all happened back here. Bizda goes for the lead down on the inside, goes past Blake and uh, not going to work there. Blake goes back down the inside. Neil Farmack follows through as well. Neil Farmack follows back through and takes second place back. As, oh, on the curb side, what's he doing? Oh, he's lost complete control of the car. Neil Farmack, he goes off further back. Bidster goes through and Stevie's on the outside of him now. So Bidster's on the inside of Stevie. Can he get through? 
He's trying to hold on to his place, but Stevie's on the outside of him, but he can't do it. Bids to tucks in. What a race this is. As now uh, Stevie pulls out to the outside of Bidster. So Stevie's on the outside, Bids on the inside, break into the corner here, break, break, break. Into the corner, Bidster throws the car in but runs wide. And Stevie then gets the run on the inside and he's going to bring TY with him. TY's going through as well as we go down the straight. It's blatantly in the lead by 1.3 seconds on lap three. And it is now TY and Stevie side by side. TY going for second place, but Stevie then holds on. But does he run wide into the corner? Can't see from here. Yes, he does. T.Y. goes through. Bids to then tries to look for a way through as well. What a race. Bradders further back. He's still battling with Intrepid, but this is the battle to watch at the minute. As oh, Stevie and Bids to a bit of contact here to go through the corner. And it gets a bit narrow at that point. So obviously, inevitable slight rubbing of contact. But uh, got to be careful with the rubbing his racing thing here because. Uh, on this game, it can really punish you if you uh, rub, to rub the cars together because it can magnetise you and send you both off into the wall. If you're not careful, there's Bidster. Oh, last minute dive up the inside of Stevie there. Good move from Bid. Stevie was aware. Oh, Neil Farmack goes through because I think Stevie got a bit of a tank slapper there. Now a three wide. Neil's in the middle of both of them. Bidster gives him room to do so if he wants to. Bid's on the far inside, trying to go on the inside of Stevie into the next corner. Oh, Neil gives him a nudge saying, there you go. There's your breaking point. As... Uh, they go through but the BMW's brakes is not as good as the McGann's but the BMW can sometimes get better traction out the corners as evidence there but I think Bidster must have had a slowdown penalty of some sort to lift off like that and Stevie goes through back into third defends the inside from Bid so he can't come back up the inside of him Bids runs wide oh he's run really wide there he must have had to give places up for a penalty of some sort so back to fifth place for Bidster and he's going to do all that work again Meanwhile, further back, Bradders is passed Intrepid into seventh place, and now Intrepid's got Pash all over the back of him as well. So Intrepid going further back in this race. Pash trying to make his way up back to the front. He would have been a front runner in this race, I think, but unfortunately not. It's not gone that way because of the incident on the first lap. So across the line we go on to lap four of nine here. So into the first corner goes Blake in the lead. T White, Stevie, Neil, Bids. That's your top five. All Renaults apart from Stevie the BMW, which is uh, obviously in third. So the BMW got uh, McGann's at either side of it as we go up the hill uh, towards the, well, not up the hill because it's quite flat, but up the track towards the next corner into the left hander that tightens on the way out. Stevie now, oh, Stevie having a go at TY. Stevie and TY side by side now as they go around this corner. Stevie takes the inside, goes through, and now defends the inside. Stevie. Defends the inside. Neil dive down the out down the inside. What a move from Neil! And now Bidster gets alongside him. Bidster's now alongside Ty as well, and now he's lost out. So what? What racing here? This is class. Absolute brilliant racing here. And even to the next corner, Bidster trying to defend the inside from Ty. Just yep, he does so. Just about Neil has a go at Stevie as well. Can't quite get the car down the inside. Oh, can he? Can he get the car down the inside? He's just oh, oh Bidster around the outside of Neil, holding no prisoners. Bids to around the outside. What a move from Bids around the outside of uh, Neil Farmack. And now TY gets a run. And into the next corner. It's any, anyone's game. Into the corner we go. TY runs wide. Neil Farmack up the inside. Bids to having a go at Stevie. Can't do it. Oh my word. I can't keep up with this. As we go down to the next straight. It's, uh, oh, it's saying oh, Bradders had to retire from the race. Unfortunately, Bradders retires from the race for some reason. So I can't remember what that reason was. But still, uh, Bradders retires. So it's Blake in the lead, and it's just gone a bit funny the timing screen because of Bradders' uh, retirement, but he'll go down the order now. So uh, everyone else battling for second place. Biz is now defending the far inside, and then from TY, and Stevie's on the outside. Break, boys, break, break, break. Neil Farmack down the inside of Stevie as well. Neil Farmack nicks Stevie's fourth place. Oh, what a move from Neil. Neil's pulling some blinders here today. What a move from uh, Neil Farmack, but he gets a bad run out the corner. The the BMW uses its traction and look who's on the back of him now, it's Twerdy. Oh, Stevie goes on the grass and that's not where you want to be for breaking into the next corner. Neil goes through and now Stevie's held, uh, now got Twerdy to deal with as Biz has got T.Y. all over the back of him as well. Into the next corner, Stevie and Neil side by side. Neil gets ahead slightly, he should defend into the corner. If not, Stevie will be up the inside. Meanwhile, Bidster is through on TY, but TY goes straight back through on Bidster. So it's all happening here. And I do have to say the cameras are a lot better on this track because they do snap to whatever you need to snap to, which is good. So uh, good to, good cameras on this track. So uh, I'll have to do this track a bit more. But uh, Twerdy is now into, uh, oh, he's in sixth place. He's behind Stevie, he's still trying to uh, do what he can to stay with him. Uh, oh, Neil Farmack goes wide and 
now Twilly gets his chance of going up the inside of Neil Farmack trying to take the opportunity but can't quite do it Neil Farmack closes the door on him gives him the squeeze no you can't do it no you're not doing that no way Stevie goes through but I'm not letting you through <laughs> one's enough one at a time uh, as we go through the uh, hairpin onto the straight and it is Blake in the lead he's about to cross the line somewhere he is he's uh, coming to the last corner he's about to cross the line at the last corner Bidster and TY together T.Y. pulling a bit of a gap on bids now. Stevie just trying to keep Neil back. So while we've got a little break in proceedings, we will now take you th to the replays of the first half action. And there's probably going to be a lot of them. Here's the replays from the first half of the race. Let's try and piece together the first few incidents then. So here we go, on board with Burt. So we we'll see Fidel had a bit of a moment there. Darren goes to the inside of the white BMW. Now watch them two ahead as we go into the next corner. We break, we've got the Nifty goes down the inside, but then you watch Darren, uh, Fidel comes across on Darren and then takes himself off, and then Nifty and Darren are left with nowhere to go. Darren gets clouted by Fidel a little bit as he rejoins, so not really a major incident, but just uh, a little bit a little clumsy. And now here's a little, another view of that on board with Darren, so we're going down to the same corner, and into the corner we go, you'll see. Uh, that Fidel just comes across on him and uh, not even where he's there. Bang, takes himself round, makes sure uh, Bert has nowhere to go. Then he comes back on, just clouts the back of Darren's car, then there we are, points in the right way, you know how feelings, and then on we go. And now here's a look on board with Twitch, look at what happened between him and Pash. We're into the corner here, watch here, so Pash goes into the corner and then just, uh, just gets a bit of oversteer. Twitch in the wrong place at the wrong time, there's contact and Pash gets spun round and he has to sort of get, try and get going again as the others are coming through the corner there they are back there and then you see Darren and Burke walking in the background again and uh, we continue OK here's a look now what happened between Twerdy and Intrepid on lap 2 it's the first corner so you see on the inside here we break into the corner Intrepid just comes slightly across there's a little bit of contact but again I think that was just a, uh, like racing contact really not really much in the way of anything bad OK, now here's a look at what happened on uh, lap two while we were looking further down the, the order at uh, the battle up front. See, Blake runs a bit wide there. Stevie goes to the inside over the kerb. Neil tries to go to the outside, but Stevie's through on the inside. And then we go to the, through the corner. Blake's now lost the lead. Then we go to the next corner. Blake then comes back down to the inside. Vince is on the inside of Neil as well, or trying to. Blake's on the inside. Neil then goes up the inside of Stevie. They both take each other wide. And Bidster then goes through and Blake takes the lead back. So Blake takes the lead back and Bidster gets two cars with one pass. Brilliant. Okay, here's a replay of some action further back on lap four. So Intrepid then is in front of Braddis and Braddis has just been off. And then Fidel gets a good run through the corner, but a bit of argy bargy here with, it, with Intrepid. A bit impatient there from Fidel, but he can carry the speed. But then watch here as Intrepid comes across and it hits Fidel, it hits him again and puts him in a half spin. But luckily he recovers a bit very aggressive there from Intrepid. That'll probably be looked at after the race. And then Intrepid dives up the inside of Bradders, taking him off track as well. So very clumsy stuff there by Intrepid as Bradders gets going. Fidel then gets going as well. So Fidel will be thinking, aha, karma for Intrepid. And now back to the racing action. So as we come back from the first half action then, we look at Intrepid with Darren behind him now. So Darren's closing up on Intrepid now. Nifty's gone back to 11th, so a uh, bit further back for Nifty there in the Mercedes. But now back to the battles up front, and it's, oh, it's all happening again. We've got Neil, Stevie and Twerdy all together now. Stevie, Neil and Twerdy is the order. Stevie leading the way in fourth and into the... Left-hander Twerdy closes right upon Neil Farmack on the brakes, hits the back of him. That's the speed that you should be carrying through the corner, says Twerdy. As Neil probably will, he might get a penalty for running wide there, but he shouldn't do because he got pushed. But we'll have to see what happens there. But oh, Bids is on the inside of TY. Bids doing TY together. Bids on the inside and gets the move done, does he? Is TY, can TY hold on around the outside? No. Bidster doesn't give him the room to play with. And Bidster goes through into second place. TY now in third. Will he be able to hold on for the next corner? Can Bits hold on? Yes, he can. Now they're going to try and put the head down and try and catch Blake, but Blake's in the 42s. What a good lap from Blake. And TY in a 42.4 as well. Bids doing the rest in 43s and 45s. So all change, chop and change. As Stevie goes through the corner, Neil gets a fantastic run in the McGann. Guess alongside. Wing mirror to wing mirror as they go down towards the next right hander. Into the hairpin on the brakes. Neil should have the run on the brakes, but Stevie will try and go around the outside of him if he can. Side by side, but Neil gets the roof done. 
gets out the corner, but the Stevie will use his superior rear wheel drive traction to get a good run back. And he's on the he's trying to get on the inside now. Neil's not not letting him. You don't want to let him go that way because he'll get the move and done into the last corner. Into the last corner. Stevie's on the inside. Neil gives him the space. Neil around the outside in the McGann. Will Stevie give him the space on the outside? Just only just. Neil Farmack oh, jolly riding the curbs and Steve. He had to put some real trust in Stevie there not to give him not to uh, but not to uh, take him off track. But Stevie hard defends the inside. Twerdy goes to the outside into the corner. Neil Farmack oh, around the outside. Contact as they go through the corner. Neil Farmack gets a bit. Uh, carried away, chops in too early and he's gone back to the back of the pack and Twerdy now has got a chance of attacking Stevie now as we go down to the next corner Stevie holds off Twerdy just down into the left hander what a race this is absolutely brilliant this is one of the, some of the best action we've seen all season Stevie is ahead of Twerdy still we've got Bids and, Bids and TY still together but Bids is uh, sort of pulling TY along now they're in the 42s Blake back in the 43 so I think he's trying, they're trying to catch Blake now see what they can do but we'll have to uh, wait over the next few laps, see how that goes on. Stevie gets out of the corner, Twerdy does well, but Stevie looks like he's got the run with the uh, BMW, but Twerdy looks like he's trying to go alongside him. And is he going for the inside? Yes! He's going for the inside, Stevie gives him a little bit of space in case he does go for it, but no, Stevie holds on. Round the outside in the BM, and Neil Farmack now trying to close up and do what he can. Bids and T.Y. still the same guy. Let's have a look further down the order now, guys. Is, uh, oh, oh, no, we won't. Bids the runs wide. T.Y. gets the run on the inside, but can't quite do it. Bids almost left himself vulnerable to T.Y. there, but luckily he had to cut back and uh, Stevie had to lift out of it. So uh, close there as Stevie and... Oh, Twerdy's gone through past, uh, past Stevie then. So Twerdy's past Stevie. Uh, there might have been a bit of contact there because Stevie's fell right back. So we'll get, a, uh, we'll get that in the second half of the race replays later on for you. Pash, meanwhile, is trying to close upon these boys as well. He's only two he's only two seconds off his teammate now. So Pash is on the way then. He's trying to get himself back into this fight. Let's watch the lap times as we go over the timing line. For Pash, and then we'll look back at Stevie. Let's have a look as we go over the line. It's a 140... Uh, let's have a look. 42.9. So a good lap there from Pash. Stevie now defends from Neil Farmack. And with these two battling, that'll help Pash close up even faster. But Neil Farmack then is on the inside. He's got the inside for the little left, for the little right kink. But into the left-hander, he's got to try and get clear, but wow, oh, Stevie around the outside. No way. So Stevie then holds on around the outside, and oh, Neil, I'm nail now up the inside. Side by side, out the corner. Pash watching this. Trying to hope his teammate gets the job done and then sends Stevie back towards him, but so far Stevie's proven hard to pass. Oh, defend! Aggressive defensive there, aggressive defence there from Stevie, straight up to the inside. And Neil, then that's the price you pay. Neil then gets through and Pash gives me a little tap and say, Oi, that's my teammate you're messing with, Sonny boy. Come back here. As uh, Stevie has a look now at Neil, trying to look left and right, trying to put the pressure on. It's not weaving, it's just trying to put the pressure on. As, oh, Neil runs wide, it works! It works! And Neil runs wide and Stevie goes through. A little technique there for Stevie. And it worked. So, put the pressure on, move side to side. Neil booked in his mirrors and then lost his breaking point. And that took Stevie back his fifth place. As we go through the corner, Pash now on the back of Stevie. So it's Pash's turn in the McGann now for his team for Smoking Tyres team to try and get past the dive squad member of Stevie whose teammate Cy Racing is at the back so not really going well for the team points there but he is trying as we go through the corner lap 8 of 9 and then going on to the last lap now oh, Bids has took the lead Bids has took the lead from Blake it's all changed at the front Blake's lost must have made a mistake somewhere for Bids to catch up that quick but Bids goes through into the lead we missed, we missed that but again we'll get a replay on how that happened later on but last lap of the race and now it's Bids versus Blake on this last lap can Bids to hold on but not like that Blake's going to have a go He's going to have a go. He's going to try and get alongside him into the left-hander just briefly while they're closing together. We look at Pash and Stevie. Stevie again holding on to Pash, so no way through there for, for him. Ah, oh, Stevie, he's through. Stevie makes a mistake and runs wide. Pash goes through. Bidster holds off Blake at the next hairpin as well and go down to the next corner. So that strung him out a little bit, but we'll see what happens later on as Pash then goes through on Stevie for fifth place. Stevie down to sixth, and now he's got Neil Farmer behind him again. He cannot shake this man. He's been with him all race. As we go down out the corner, Neil Farmack closes right upon the back of Stevie now, applying that pressure. Stevie's job to defend now. Neil needs to do some pressurising stuff like Stevie did before. But he's not quite doing it. Looks to the inside slightly, but Stevie's not phased. 
but down to the last, down to the last couple of corners then penultimate corner for Bidster out the corner gets a good run and Blake is now falling back into the hands of uh, of T Y and just look just just realise look at Bidster's fastest lap at the top at the top left of, of the screen 141.7 before Bidster on that on the penultimate laps, that was a really fast lap. That's how he closed up to Blake, and he's going to take the win. Here's Blake. Oh, Blake is going to be close to Ty's teammate, but Bidster wins the race. Bidster wins an epic race, and it's going to be Blake just from Ty in second, and then Ty third. Twerdy's going to be coming across the line in fourth, fourth place for Twerdy, and then we've got fifth for Pash with Stevie in sixth. Neil Farmack finishes seventh. What a race that was at the front of the field. Absolutely epic stuff. Fidel is going to be in eighth. Good race to Fidel on his own. And then it's going to be Darren in ninth. If he can get to the line, just going to make sure he gets around the last corner safely. And then we'll confirm him as ninth place. Around the last corner in the white BMW. Darren Ellis looking for a ninth place and getting a ninth place. So across the line in ninth. Well done to him. And then we've got Bert in 10th. Well done to him as well. So the two brothers, 9 and 10th. We've got Nifty in 11th. Well done to Nifty. Not just kept, had a bit of trouble at the start, but apart from that, kept out of trouble. Intrepid, a horrible race for him. Back in 12th. And then Cy Racing, the last finisher on track, will be 13th as Brad has retired to the pits. So we'll just get those results confirmed for you now. Here's the replays from the second half of the race. Here's the replay on board with Bids there on lap 8. Let's watch what happened to Blakeney ahead of us. So he goes off, off the last corner, goes wide off the ground, on from to the grass. Just recovers the car, but it's enough of a, of a momentum watch for Bids to, to go through and take the lead. Let's have a look on board with Blake. And there goes Bids going through into the first corner. And now Blake's got to try and fight back to keep his lead. Okay, now here's a look on board with T.Y. on the last lap then. Let's see how close this finish was between him and his teammate. He gets a killer run through the corner. And then Blake just keeps realising and then gives him enough room. But they come up to the line and Blakeney just finishes ahead of his teammate T.Y. Okay, here's the results of that race then. So Bidster takes victory of the race then. Well done to Bidster. Blakeney. In a, in a very solid second place there for his team, with T.Y. behind him in third. Uh, with Twerdy in fourth, we've got Pash in fifth. Stevie finishes a decent sixth in the BMW. Then it's Neil Farmack down in seventh, as we go over the page. With Fidel in eighth place, we've got Darren in ninth in the BMW. Bert in tenth. Nifty Dark Ninja finishes in eleventh. We've got Intrepid back down in twelfth. And then we've got Cy Racing, who finishes in thirteenth. So as we come back from that then, Bidster is your winner. Bidster is the winner of the race, and well done to him. It would have been, it would have been Blake, but uh, he made a mistake on that uh, last lap, on that penultimate lap, and Bidster takes the win. So we will see you guys next time for race four for hopefully just as much action as this one. We'll see you for that, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching another race by LPB Racing. Hope you all enjoyed that one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments down below. And next time it's going to be race four from the Zhenhai International Circuit in China.